Good morning students. Today we start our next chapter, Parallel Lines and Transversals. In this first we see the concept of parallel lines. We can define the lines which are lying in the same plane and they do not intersect anywhere. So that lines are called as parallel lines. For example, line P and line Q are the parallel lines because these lines are in the same plane and they do not intersect anywhere. We can denote line P parallel Q. This is the notation of parallel lines. So we can write line P parallel line Q. These are the parallel lines. Our next topic is transversal. We can define the transversals, the line which are intersect two or more given lines in two or more distinct points, then that line is called as transversal of those two or more given lines. Means, see here, this L line is intersect in two lines. We can take two or more lines in two distinct points. That line is called as transversal. L line is intersect the line M and M. M and N in the two distinct points X and Y. So, we write line M is transversal of line M and N. It is angles made by transversals. See in this figure, line AT is the transversal of line PQ and line RS. Because line AT intersect in two distinct points M and N. And therefore, we, we get here four angles at the point M. Means at the point M, they form, this transversal form four angles and at the point M also form the four angles. We call it as A, B, C and D. E, F, G and H. Now angles made by transversal. These are eight angles formed by this transversal. So, we are grouped in a different, different types of angles. So, our first type is corresponding angles. Now, what is meant by corresponding angles? The angles which are lie on a same side of a transversal and also same direction of the arms of the transversal means the angles which are same side and same direction of the transversal that is called as corresponding angles for example the angle a see this angle and angle e this is the transversal you see the left side same side and same direction means above the line pq and also above the line rs this is the same Direction also and same side means angle A corresponds to angle E. These are the corresponding angles. Similarly, we get another pair down, uh, down to the line angle D corresponds to angle H. These are the corresponding angles. Similarly, we say that angle B correspond to angle F, angle C correspond to angle G. These are the corresponding angles. Our next type, interior angles. The, what is meant by interior angles? A pair of angles that are same side of transversal and the Inside the two given lines, that pair of angles is called as interior angles. For example, angle D, interior with angle E, inside the two lines. Same side of the transversal and inside the two lines, angle D, interior with angle E. Similarly, we uh, read the another side of the transversal angle C, interior with angle F. 
which are called as anterior angles. The next type is alternate angles. So, a pair of angles which are the opposite sides of the transversal and the arms of that angles show the opposite direction. That pair of angles is called as alternate angles. Means, simply you remember this thing, the angles which are in the Z shape, that angles are called as alternate angles, which are the opposite direction and opposite side of the transversal. So, for example, angle D alternate to angle F because these are in a Z shape. See, angle D alternate to angle F. Another pair of alternate angle is opposite Z angle C alternate to angle E. Angle C alternate to angle E. These are the alternate angles. In this we have the two types, interior alternate angles and exterior alternate angles. If the angles are inside the lines, that is called as interior alternate angles and the angles which are outside the lines, that angles are called as the exterior alternate angles. These are the interior alternate angles and exterior alternate angles. These are the outside the lines. For example, angle B alternate to angle H means outside the Z. Opposite side of the transversal and opposite direction. This is the upside and this is the downside. Similarly, next pair is angle A alternate to angle G. These are the exterior alternate angles. See our first question. Write the names of corresponding angles. Angle P which correspond to C this figure, given figure in the book. Angle P, where is angle P? P correspond to same same side of transversal and same direction, angle W. Next, angle Q correspond to angle X. Angle R, this is the down side of the line and right side of the transversal uh, correspond to angle Y. Angle S correspond to angle Z. These are the corresponding angles. Now write the interior alternate angles. Angle S alternate with angle S. Angle W alternate with opposite Z angle R. We have to write the interior alternate angles. Interior alternate angles. Alternate angles means the angles which are in the Z shape. Interior alternate angles. See here this is the Z shape. This line, suppose L is the transversal line A and B. So this is the Z shape. Interior alternate angle. Angle C alternate with, with angle E. And next pair is angle B alternate with angle H. These are the interior alternate angles. Our next question, corresponding angles. Write the names of corresponding angles. Here are the angle D correspond to angle H. Angle D correspond to angle H. Our next pair is downside. Angle C correspond to angle G. Next, another side of transversal. Angle A correspond to angle E and angle B correspond to angle F. These are the corresponding angles. Our next question, interior angles. Interior angles means inside the two lines. Angle B with angle E. Interior with angle E. We can write also interior with angle E and our other pair is angle C interior with 